Welcome to Glorified Gutsy Gaming. I'm Jake, and today we are unboxing a Little Town from Yellow, two to four players, ages 10 and up, 45 minutes. Far beyond the farthest mountains, a valley overflowing with resources awaits you. Collect, build, optimize, and build a perfect little town in your image. The double sided board and vast selection of buildings are the starting point for an incredible variety of gameplay experiences. No two games will be alike, and the joy of building will always be new. Combine the effects of the tiles around you. Gather resources, build your very own buildings. To gain the most victory points. Little Town is a strategy game for the whole family. Collect the resources you need, and place your workers wisely to be named the greatest builder. So we got a rule book, a gameplay aid, we've got what I assume are money tokens, one and three. And then we've got a whole bunch of sets of tiles. Oh, and the board. Let's zoom out. Oh, it's in. Out. And it is double sided. Not the most interesting looking board, but it seems to be functional enough. Let's zoom back in. We've got a small thing of cards, and we've got meeples. And counters and wooden bits. Ooh, we've got what appear to be houses in orange, red, purple, and white. And then people, or meeples I guess, person with a hammer in the same colors. So we've got blue, yellow, brown, and gray resources, I assume. And then four star things, which I assume are victory points. An outline of a hammer, and then a big sign or hammer. Maybe a first player token. And then the cards. Question mark on the backs. For two points, build two buildings that produce and or consume. Build one building that produces and or consumes the blue. Build one building that produces and or consumes brown or gray. Build two buildings that produce and or consume... I think that's what the money tokens look like. Yep, the one. The one money token. Have at least six uh, money. Build a building costing at least three brown. Build a building costing at least three gray. Have three buildings that touch each other on at least one side. Have more buildings than workers. Spend at least one resource cube gathered during that, that same turn. Have at least twice as many food cubes as workers. Gather at least five resources in the same turn. Activate at least four buildings in the same turn. Build one building with two different types of resources. Receive points from at least two buildings in the same turn. Build three buildings respectively adjacent or diagonally adjacent to a lake, mountain, and a forest. Have zero money. Feed all of your workers with uh, blue. Build two buildings that produce and or consume yellow. Build one building that produces or and or consumes blue. I think. I may have cycled through. Looks like it. Yep, I'm going to say that I did. <coughs> Alright. So let's take a quick look at the rule book. 
We've got our components. Those meeples are worker tokens. There's five each of them. Fifteen objective cards, which we saw. Twenty-nine building tiles over here. This big thing is the first player token. And this is the first round token. And the victory point pawns. Uh, then we got the point tokens. Four sixty tokens, it says. Overview and object of the game. During each turn, place a worker onto the board, gather the nearby resources, and activate the neighboring buildings or build new buildings. Position yourself with care, build in the best places, and anticipate your opponent's choices to benefit from all possible situations and emerge victorious. Build the town according to your ideas and prove that you are the greatest architect. Game elements. Building tiles. Objective cards. Game board. Worker tokens. Resource cubes. Brown represents wood, gray represents stone, blue represents fish, yellow represents wheat. That makes sense. Uh, they allow you to buy building tiles or to feed your workers. Cool. Uh, game setup. Doesn't seem like there's anything out of the ordinary there. Gameplay. Game is played in four rounds. Additional actions, end of round. End of the game. Each player adds the following to the star already gained over the course of the game. The star from the castle and the watchtower as appropriate. One star for each set of three money in your possession. Add these stars to your total in this, on the score track. The player with the most uh, stars is declared victorious. If there is a tie, the tie players share the victory. So the 60 tokens are if you exceed 60 on the track and then you just hold them and then roll over and you lap the people that, <laughs> that are behind you. But that is everything in and on the box. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.